All right. Uh, find the dimensions of the rectangle of maximum area that can be inscribed in a semicircle. Okay. So we got a rectangle inscribed in a semicircle. Um, to even get started on this problem, you've got to know, got to remember from pre-calculus the equation for a circle of radius A. Okay, um, it's x squared plus y squared equals a squared. And I'm redrawing the rectangle on an xy coordinate plane because I want to specify that this point right here is the point x comma y and that means the base of the rectangle is going to be 2x and the height of the rectangle is going to be y okay so the thing that we're trying to maximize is going to be the area and that's 2xy. Base is 2x, height is y. Okay, at this point, we have all the ingredients. This is what we've been calling the constraint. We're going to use it to solve for y. So, y squared is a squared minus x squared. y is root a squared minus x squared. All right. Uh, that gives us our area in terms of only one variable. Now, when we're taking the derivative of the area, we got to remember this guy right here. This is just a number. Okay. Uh, so a prime is 2 root a squared minus x squared plus 1 half a squared minus x squared to the minus 1 half times minus 2x from the chain rule times 2x from the product rule. Go ahead and cancel these twos. Collecting things so they look like look nice. Two root a squared minus x squared minus two x squared over root a squared minus x squared. So all I did there was take the minus 2x and the x, that gave me minus 2x squared, and I relegated this to the denominator and decorated it with a radical. Uh, standard maneuver here, commonly denominate, and that's going to give us 2a squared minus x squared minus 2x squared over a denominator we don't care about anymore. We gotta set that equal to zero. All right. In the end, the numerator is 2a squared minus 4x squared. That's gotta be zero. a squared is 2x squared. At the end of the day, x is going to be a over root 2. Okay? We had our other equation which told us y. Remember y was root a squared minus x squared? Well, in this case,
a squared minus all that. You can pause the video and simplify it if you like, but it's going to work out to also be a over root 2. So at the end of the day, the dimensions of the biggest rectangle turn out to be uh, a square on each side. Okay. Um, the key here was using x squared plus y squared equals a squared as our constraint. And subbing that into the area function where the area was this base times this height. And that's all she wrote on this one.